in this video we are going to discuss about p np np god np complete problems before going to discuss about this topic we have to understand about the types of the algorithm based on time complexity the based on time complexity algorithms are classified into two types first one is the polynomial time algorithms this kind of the algorithms its running time is very less example linear search bubble shot merge sort we are seeing the running time of this algorithm it is big o of n n square and n log n it is in the power of n n power 1 n power 2 n power 1 and log n and generally polynomial time algorithms takes very less time to complete the problem next one is the non polynomial or exponential algorithms its time complexity is high example traveling salesman problem knapsack problem we are seeing the running time of this algorithm it is n square into 2 power n similarly knapsack problem 2 power n by 2 it is in the power of 2 so these kind of the problems are called as a non polynomial time algorithms or exponential time algorithms generally its time complexity is i then based on the results the problems are classified into two types one is the decision problem this decision problem results or output is either yes or no 0 or 1 example linear search it will give the key element is found or not found so those kind of the problems are called as a decision problem and optimization problem those problems will give the results in number either minimum value or maximum value first we will discuss about the p class problem p is a set of problems that can be solved in polynomial time and with the help of the deterministic algorithm so any problem which is solved in polynomial time what do you mean by polynomial time it is a less time so if any problems running time is less those kind of the problems are classified as a p class problem and this problems are solved with help of the deterministic algorithm what is deterministic algorithm the all the steps in algorithms are easily understandable or followable those algorithms are called as a deterministic example linear search binary search and so on the next one is the np class problem the np is the set of problem that can be solved in non deterministic in exponential time so some problems are solved in exponential time or non polynomial time that many problems run time is high and those problems are classified as a np class and these are solved by the non deterministic algorithm what is non deterministic algorithm those algorithm some steps are not follow those kind of the pro problems are called as a np class problem but these kind of the problems are verified in polynomial time how we can verify example traveling salesman problem to solve the traveling salesman problem its running time is very high time complexity is very high but we can easily verify this traveling salesman problem we easily we can verify the shortest path in the traveling salesman problem so what is np class problem if any problem time complexity is very high but its verification time is very low those kind of the problem is called as a np class so we will summarize here np class and p class problem np class problem means it is solved in non polynomial time or exponential time that means its time complexity is high and verified in polynomial time its verification time complexity is very low it is also called as a intractable problem and p class problem it is solved in polynomial time so its running time is less and verified in polynomial time its verification time also less and it is a tractable problem so p class problems are subset of np class problem so p class problem is the subset of np class problem and it is not known whether p equal to np class and p is not equal to np class still research is going on this one next we are going to study about the np god 
before going to discuss about the NPR, we have to understand the reduction. What is the reduction? Let A and B are the two problems in NP class. So there are two problems there, A and B. Both are belongs to NP class. What do you mean by M NP class? Its time complexity is high. Problem A is reduced to problem B. If and only if. There is a way to solve A by deterministic algorithm that solve B in polynomial time. So when we will say A is reduced into B, we can see here there is the one deterministic algorithm is there. This algorithm able to solve the B in polynomial time the, and also there is a way to solve the algorithm problem A. Then we are saying that A is reduced into B. How? Because this algorithm able to solve B in polynomial time and also there is a way to solve A. So we are believing that this algorithm able to solve A also in polynomial time. That is why we are saying A is reduced into B. So what is the property of this reduction is if A is reducible to B and B is in polynomial time then A also in polynomial time. As I told already if this algorithm able to solve B in polynomial time we believe that it same algorithm able to solve A in polynomial time. But if A is not in polynomial time it implies b is also not solved in polynomial time so this is the reduction concept where we are using reduction concept in np odd problem what is np odd problem every problem in np class can be reduced into other set so there is a np class problem every problem in np class so some set of problems or every problem in np class reduced into other set. What do you mean by reduced into other set? Some deterministic algorithms are there. It able to solve this problem in polynomial time. Then those kind of the problems are called as a NP odd problem. I will repeat again. So NP class problems are able to solve by the deterministic algorithm in polynomial time. Then we are saying those kind of the problems are called as a NP odd problem. So this is happen with the help of reduction. So next one NP complete problem. What is NP complete problem? The group of problems which are both in NP and NP hard are known as NP complete. So are seeing this diagram here NP class problem and NP hard problems are in interact here. So this interaction point is called as a NP complete. Some problems lies in both NP class and NP hard class. So those kind of the problem is called as a NP complete problem. So all NP complete problems are NP hard. If you are seeing here, all NP complete problems are NP hard. But not all NP hard problems are NP complete problems. Only the few NP hard problems are NP complete. Thank you.